We're talking now about a mature steroid user or a man who's been on testosterone or a man who uses testosterone intermittently. But again, not a newbie and not a virgin to androgens. This is a man that will use HCG for fertility on demand. This is the most common man I have. On demand, with or without Clomid. So you're on testosterone. You say, I'm going to be on testosterone, doc. I'm, I'm 28. When are you going to have a kid or your next kid? Ah, 30, 31. We're fine. Go on testosterone. Enjoy it. Get it balanced. Take care of your heart, the red blood cells, the prostate, your mental health. Get that clear. Find the dose. Don't take too much. And then a year later, I do this stuff every day. And boy, we got issues with, with uh, supply with HCG, but it's coming back and things are getting better, thank God. So this is a man that when he wants to become fertile, you sideline testosterone totally on the side. You don't add HCG. You stop testosterone and you take HCG monotherapy. 1,500 units, I'm giving you actionable information because I know you guys want actual, actionable, and actual real data. So here it is. The range is 1,500 to 3,000 units every day. You could see research papers by Dr. Lipschultz. Look at the name Lipschultz. You'll see that this is right out of research papers and this in the streets works for probably 95% or more of men. Coming off testosterone or even steroids, switch over to HCG by itself up to 2,000 to 3,000. 3,000 is a lot though. That's my big gun I pull out if I need it in the end. I have to eyeball these patients. I know who needs it. I know who doesn't. It's just like a gestalt. I've been around. You take it every other day. Now, you could also add clomiphene, clomid to that. 20 hey guys, quick pause here. If you're watching this video, odds are you're concerned about your testosterone levels. That's where the sponsor of this video comes in. Let'sgetcheck.com. Let's Get Check makes professional health testing easy by letting you get tested without having to visit a healthcare provider. Choose your test online, like one of their testosterone panels, and it will be delivered to you in discreet packaging with next day delivery. Once your sample arrives in a laboratory, confidential results will be available from your secure online account within two to five days. See my link in the description for more details and discount code. You could also add clomiphene, clomid to that, 25 milligrams. Take the 50 milligram tablet, cut it in half, 25 a day. And then sparingly use aromatase inhibitors because with this regimen, guys, there's going to be aromatization. But hopefully you're not going to be on it forever, right? You're going to be on it for maybe how long? Maybe three months if you're lucky. I see most guys six months or so because it's, don't tell the woman, but she's going through ovulation every 28 days. Don't say it's her fault. It's going to be, it's going to be music. It's going to be the dance together, but you, you could be on it up to, up to a year. Depends on who you are. The grace of God stuff, you know, it just takes one. But if your fertility is down and we're trying to crank you up in HCG, not to mention some other medicines I'm going to mention here, or just HCG and Clomid, which unbelievable synergistic effect. Um, it just sometimes doesn't happen. It's a miracle anyway. So after around six months or so, get a semen analysis. Look at the see. You're on HCG 1500 or 2000 with or without Clomid. Doc, I'm, I'm feeling okay, Doc. Why do you think guys don't live on this? They don't feel any as good as being on testosterone. Is that a secret? Well, it's true. Otherwise, everyone will just live on this. And I'm going to talk about that down the road here in a little bit. Living on HCG monotherapy. Because it is done. But why isn't it done more for newbies out there and virgin guys that want to just be on something to increase your testosterone, like HCG, and why wouldn't it just live on it? Because it just, it just doesn't. It's a lot of injections. You don't feel anything is great to the brain by being on real esters of testosterone. This is a secret, guys. I mean, it's kind of like a hidden secret among millions. I just can't. So when you look at that, Doc, oh, I'm tired, man. Six months now. We're having sex. We're doing everything. I want to get back on you know, testosterone or steroids. Against my advice, they want to go back on steroids. 
and you check a semen analysis to see how you're doing. Maybe you have to increase the HCG. Maybe you have to add the Clomid or, of course, go to a urologist. I'm, I have a very low threshold to bump and refer. And I tell every man, I don't know everything, but I'm experienced and I have a license to practice medicine man per man, so I do the best I can. And for most times, I can get a guy fertile because I know what to use. And it's right here, I'm telling you. So you do it. It's, now is the day of medicine. You understand information right here. You take the information and you go find your healthcare provider and you work with them. And I'm not here to tell doctors what to do. They watch this and they'll understand and they'll say either agree with it or they won't. And my guess is they will agree with most of this because this is evidence-based. Next, you wanna talk about extreme and detailed information? Listen up. So in addition to using HCG, you can use HMG, good luck getting it. You could use Brevel or Folistim, which is an FSH-derived purified medications that could be very expensive. You could add that those FSH analogs to, to the HCG. I see it all the time. Or you pull off the Clomid and you add one of these. I see these regimens by fertility urology doctors all the time. I don't see a utility of Ovidril, which is a recombinantly produced HCG analog I used to 10 years ago at Brevel and Ovidril. I don't see that anymore. Now, let's keep moving. That was the most complex part of this movie, of this video, guys. So, HCG as a monotherapy for TRT, International Brazilian Journal of Urology. Boom, I pull out the evidence-based stuff. Let's not put them down. It's not America, but it's Brazil. Let's not put these people down, doctors. Let's, let's be ethical here. So, American urology guys, they agree with it, but they just don't do it. It's very interesting. The American urology guys don't. They're going to pull out Clomid. So, the American guys pull out Clomid. I don't, and I don't know why, you know, the American guys know that HCG will work, but they just don't like to use it. Fertility urology guys, how many are around? T uh, three? <laughs> there seems like there's none of these guys around. Urologists are on every corner. Fertility urology doctors? That's not a standard urologist. Look into that. If you really want to see a urologist, make sure it's a fertility urologist. These are surgeons, ur urologists. Fertility urologists are not just surgeons. They're specializing in fertility. And a lot of fertility urology doctors, they're actually fertility experts. They're working with women. Not many specialize in men. Let's get comments on that, guys. Let me hear your stories. I found this out over the last 10 years, working with steroid users and men on TRT. I mean, I live, sleep, and poop this stuff. So anti-aging doctors, I have to put this in at this point, will give anyone anything for money. I disagree with that. Um, though, of course, all, always tell you that you can go on testosterone and just take some HCG and anti-estrogens and even Clomid <laughs> or gonadarellin. Now it's gonadarellin. I can't. I just can't. They're going to tell you that you can do all this stuff and you'll get fertile. And the truth is, it's not true. It may work. You may not feel good. And where's the limit to it? Where are the side effects to it? And how is it working and where's the end point and what are the mechanisms? So this is foolishness. So be careful with that. So now anti-aging doctors can't even prescribe HCG because Obamacare in late provisions of that Obamacare law, and this is not about politics, about Obamacare, it supposedly in the last 18 months shut down HCG by compounding pharmacies and now it can only be prescribed by specialty pharmacies. And now we have a supply issue. I'm still able to prescribe it with the grace of God. I'm humble for that because I'm a specialty doctor. But the supply is difficult to get, I can tell you that. So HCG has been a tough thing, a tough medicine, although I do have it utility and I use it appropriately. Next, Clomid. Clomid itself for TRT. It's used. Again, the candidate for that is a man that's never been exposed to testosterone, not a steroid user, and a, a complete newbie. And again, the, the dose is something like 25 to, it's like a 50 milligram tablet every other day or cut in half, 25 a day, 
or something, maybe 75, you know, every other day. You really don't want to use much. He's a newbie. He's a, he's a virgin to it. He'll respond to it. You give this stuff to a man that's a steroid user when he's off and he's crashed and he's, his testosterone is low, anabolic steroid induced hypogonadism. I was amazed to see that they're, they're not, they're insensitive to this. It doesn't work. Me and the urology guys found this out over 10 years ago. It's incredible. How long can you live on Clomid if you're a newbie and you're just a TRT guy, you wanna preserve your testicles and you wanna increase your testosterone, you don't wanna do HCGs, mild therapy. How long can you live on this Clomid, which I've seen up to a couple years? Some men feel great. Again, not guys that have been exposed to steroids and it's not really utilized for TRT often. It, men don't feel that great. And if they ever try to do TRT, like, let me try to see if I feel better on TRT. These are guys who need TRT, right? That's already like established, they need TRT. They're not just like 25 year old guys who like, eh, I wanna have huge levels of testosterone and get my balls, my testicles increased. And this is not, okay, those guys are there, but this is not for them. This is for men that are really low T, or they want to be to, to increase their testosterone because they're suffering and they don't want to also shut down their testicles, atrophy and fertility, super complicated. Clomid, sure it works. They end up in my anecdotal data with thousands of men, over the course of up to five years, they're gonna end up transitioning to testosterone. And then we could talk about all those scenarios. I just ran that. The guy with TRT that's starting, but now after five years of being on Clomid, he's really a newbie and he's really not exposed to androgen. He's not a newbie. He's not a virgin to it. There's been changes in the central nervous system, not to mention hypothalamus pituitary gonadal axis. There's changes. You guys, I gotta get your comments. We gotta get comments on all this right here so far. This is a lot. Next, you're talking about you're on testosterone, you wanna have get fertility, Everything I just talked about, either it's not working or you want to investigate further, go to a urologist. It's going to be a fertility urologist. They have procedures with or without HCG and Clomid and Brevel and Ovidril and these other FSH analog. Again, there's, there's a lot of medicines out there. They have assisted reproduction, it's called. They have intrauterine insemination or in vitro fertilization with or without sperm retrieval, where the doctor will use some medicines like HCG and Clomid to get the sperm up systemically, you know, I mean, really try to get it up in the testicles as much as they can. And then they'll go in there with a procedure and retrieve it for the um, intrauterine or the in vitro fertilization. Absolutely incredible and expensive. It's not dangerous, but just expensive procedures, my opinion, should be last resort. So first off, you would want to consider if we're working with a great fertility urology doctor, ask for HCG. Again, look at the data from, from, from Dr. Lipschultz. And look at the data, Dr. Lipschultz, testosterone and HCG. Google it. HCG and Clomid potentially together, potentially with FSH analogs that I mentioned. First, do that first before these, these are expensive pr procedures. And I'm not saying that the, the, that the urology doctors are, 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 are trying to, you know, get money, make money and do procedures, but this is what they do. And they're very good at their procedures and they, they may want to have a low threshold to do the procedure. And I want you to be educated. I want you to understand what you can do. And, and for 95% of men, even in steroid using men that are shut down, I can get them fertile with, it takes time, with these cheap and safe medica medications and recommendations and th these types of procedures that are medical procedures. The last piece is what not to do. What not to do is beware of anti-aging clinics, gurus, and anyone who's trying to be a know-it-all, I don't know everything, super humble, realize that the stuff I'm presenting is so complicated, so I try to use evidence-based means. I have a lot of experience on it. It, it, it we, no one knows everything, be careful. I work very, very tightly within my 
safe spot, and I don't go outside my safe spot. I refer to other doctors, and I say, I don't know what to do. I'm not sure. Don't want to hurt anyone. So anyone knows what to do who's not even a doctor or a nurse practitioner or some type of healthcare provider of any sort that's not a full-blown board-certified fertility urologist or a testosteronologist or an andrologist, beware of that because that's going to come down to bullshit and money. Next, tryptorelin. Tryptorelin sounds like gonadorelin. Be careful of gonadorelin. I have no comments further. We don't know about that drug. This tryptorelin and gonadorelin, GnRH analogs working above and stimulatory on the anterior pituitary to affect LH and FSH. Ho, ho, boy. You better be careful. The endogenous system is so tight and it's so pulsatile that if you think you're going to mimic this with different drugs or doses on your own from peptide companies, good luck and be careful. I've seen chemical castration now. So look into that tryptorelin stuff and stay, look at it and have a cup of coffee and read at it and just say, oh boy, that's not for me. Medical uses of tryptorelin, chemical castration for, pro, for metastatic prostate cancer and sexual offenders. I do understand, oh, that if it's used right, potentially they're going to say uh, that 100 micrograms used once or twice very carefully, it's not going to castrate you. It's going to actually be the best PCT that we've ever seen. And my response to that is fooey on that. Let's see the data on that. One, there's one case study in the world. That is cringy and embarrassing. And I want comments. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for this presentation. Bearing with me because this was a lot. Let's get the comments. And I really hope this helps the men in the world understand testosterone, steroids, fertility, and testicular atrophy. Thank you.